Mara Kinder here, founder of Brilliant Soul. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about all of my June favorites. So these are products that I've either been testing, loving, trying out, or that I have come back to and remembered how much I love them during the month of June. So let's get started. So the first product I have here is the 107 Rice Bran Low pH Soap. So this can be used for both your face and your body. It is slightly exfoliating, but it lathers up really nicely. It's formulated with 107's proprietary mugwort vinegar, but also contains prebiotics, probiotics, rice, oats, ceramides, and is super nourishing, but without stripping your skin barrier or leaving any kind of residue on your skin which i really appreciate i also find it's really great for traveling because obviously you can use it um, everywhere on your skin and it leaves my skin just feeling really lovely and soft so this is actually the second bar that i've gone through I absolutely love this one um, with their collaboration with korean air they also had a really cute travel size one um, in their travel pouch so that's when i first tried it and then yeah i've gone through two of these since and i absolutely love this one. The second product I have is actually also a cleanser. This is the Sioris Let Me Refresh Foam Cleanser. The main ingredient in this one is oat seed water, so it contains 30% of oat seed, but also contains uh, evening primrose extract, which is really nourishing and soothing. Um, the LHA is a very mild exfoliating acid, so again, this is gonna help um, with cell turnover and give you a gentle chemical exfoliation. But the lather on this one is so lovely luxuriously rich. I absolutely love it. It just feels really high-end, but for the price point it really isn't. Um, so I love this one. As you can see, the bottle is crinkled because they actually um, have done some innovative packaging with this. Sioris is one of those brands that is really striving to be more sustainable. And so they actually managed to cut down 60% of the plastic that they were using in their products. And this is actually a paper coated tube, which I just think is really cool. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this one. I love using it in the morning because it's super gentle enough and you using it as my second cleanse. It leaves my skin really refreshed, but not too dry either after cleansing. So I highly recommend this one. It's actually for all skin types because of the LHA, um, you could easily get away with it if you've got all your skin types or for dry skin types like me, LHA is such a mildly exfoliating acid, but it also contains other nourishing ingredients. It's just a really good one. Um, it's also vegan friendly. So the surfactants used in this one are coconut derived. And so all in all, it's just a really good sensitive skin friendly focus cleanser. My third favorite product for this month, and as you can see, I think there's like two pads left in this one, is the Pecan Barrier Cycle Toner Pad. Now, I think I featured the Barrier Cycle Toner in a previous video, but these toner pads are just really useful for, I love using it after the gym, just to give my skin a little bit of a refresh or before the gym. Um, you can obviously use it in place of your toner. And I find because they're slightly embossed, it's just a really good gentle exfoliation. Um, it contains witch hazel and tea tree, which are obviously very good, um, I guess like rejuvenating and also uh, refreshing ingredients. They're also really good at clarifying and purifying the skin and also contains rice bran extract, niacinamide, which helps even out skin tone and um, skin texture and also papaya extract as well, which is mildly exfoliating. So these are super gentle. Um, I don't know how many are in here, 60 pads. So this does last a while. Again, this is like the second and uh, tub of these that I've gone through. I also like using them as like a point sheet mask. So after the gym, when my skin is feeling really red, I like just to pop two on my cheeks and just leave it there for a few minutes. Um, I just find it helps relieve um, any redness and soothe any irritations. And I just like using it as kind of like a point treatment sheet mask. But yeah, these are really versatile. Um, I think they'd be really good for traveling as well. So you could pop like a few in a little case or a Ziploc bag and yeah, highly recommend, absolutely love these ones. The next product I have is a new one from Jumiso. And actually, when I was in Korea last in May, I met up with Shihun, who is the owner or co-founder of Jumiso. And he kindly gifted me the PR package for their newly launched Snail Mucin 95 and Peptide Facial Essence. So obviously, snail secretion has been very commonly used in a lot of KBD products. 
I'm sure many of you will have heard of the Cosrx Snail Essence. I actually prefer this one because it contains peptides, it's got 95% of snail secretion and I just find it incredibly soothing. It really helped reduce a lot of the redness that I commonly get in my cheek area. Jumiso has published a lot of clinical trials that have helped shown how it's helped improve um, skin texture, fade acne scarring, reduce redness. Specifically here it says help to soothe skin damage caused by UV rays. So, you know, if you accidentally get sunburned, for example, or you spent a day in the sun, I can imagine this that this one is incredibly soothing. Um, the texture, obviously, if you're used to Snail Essence products, is very similar, but I just love the addition of peptides, which are really good anti-aging and nourishing ingredients. They're really gonna help fortify your skin barrier. So yes, I've been really enjoying this one, and I'm glad that I have some travel sizes of it as well that I can use when I'm going away. Another thing to note, so this one is fragrance free um, and it also says non-comedogenic. It's mainly designed for those with acne prone skin or those with skin irritations, but um, fortunately I actually don't suffer from acne, but I do suffer from redness and dry skin. And I just find that this product is incredibly soothing and nourishing and I love using it as part of my evening routine as well. Finally, I've got a makeup product. I actually think I might have featured these before in one of my monthly favorites, but this is the Unleash Your Hug Velvet Tin. I keep coming back to this shade. I think this is in the shade number three, Hug. Yes, it is. Um, or is it Cher? No, I think number three is Cher. Um, but it's a lovely kind of nude, let's see if I can, I'll swatch it for you as well. It's a lovely kind of nude color, but all of the shades in the Hug Velvet Lip Tint are gorgeous. Um, I love this because it is a matte, kind of soft blurring finish of a lip product, but it doesn't highlight or accent any dry patches on my lips because I suffer from really dry lips. Um, so I really like that it's also nourishing as well. It contains mango seed and also um, avocado oil and green tea. So it's also got some really good ingredients in there that are gonna help soothe your lips whilst giving you that beautiful kind of like matte blurring faded effect um, in a lip color. So this is the shade Share, which I use most of the day. Okay, so I've got a couple non-K Beauty favorites for this month and I'm gonna talk about Netflix shows. So the first one I'm gonna add, which Steve and I totally binged in a weekend was Siren. I would say Siren is kind of similar. If you liked Physical 100, then I think you would like Siren. The reason why I like Siren is, first of all, all of the teams participating are women, and that was my one like an, like gripe with Physical 100. Um, so it's all female cast, and essentially it's just like a better version of Physical 100 because you've got the, I guess, physical competitiveness of it but a lot of it is strategic and mind games and teamwork as well which i think is really interesting and a lot of like survival um as well so basically the premise is there's five different teams of five different professions and like i said it's an all-female cast so you've got female soldiers female firefighters stunt women um, what was the other two? Professional athletes and bodyguards. And yeah, they're kind of put on an island and they compete for varying different, you know, obstacles, prizes, etc. And it's kind of like a giant game of capture the flag where each team has their own base. And when the siren goes off, which is once every day, but they don't know when, they've got to go and attack and try and capture another team's base by getting their flag. So, Highly recommend. I'm surprised that actually normal people were talking about Siren because Physical 100 I think was in the top 10 in the UK when it launched and for me I just thought Siren was a lot more interesting. So yes, highly recommend it. My dad also watched Siren as well. Um, so if you have watched it, let me know. And let me know who's like which team you supported because that's always fun to talk about as well. And then the second is a K-drama that we just finished watching called Bloodhounds. You may have seen that that was also trending in the top 10 on UK Netflix, which every time I see a K-drama trending on like UK Netflix, I just feel really like proud and excited. Um, so my friend recommended that I watch it, but when I watched the trailer, it was all kind of like boxing and I just didn't know if it was going to be my jam, but absolutely loved it. It's quite a short K-drama. I think from memory it was like eight episodes, so it's actually kind of easy to watch. Um, but yes, I really enjoy that one. It has some scenes which 
a, a kind of like the glory which make you go oh um so yeah just a ward of warning if you're not good with like fight scenes or like squirmy if you're like a bit squeamish about certain things then it might not be for you but um i really enjoyed bloodhounds but now i think because like we watched ted lasso in succession now they're over we're just kind of struggling on what to watch now so if you've got any recommendations uh let me know and let me know what you're watching currently as well because i always love to find out new shows or new films that i haven't watched yet especially if they're k-dramas of course so yeah that is a roundup of my june favorites um let me know if any of you have tried any of these products or if they're on your wish list please don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you in the next video bye